here. I'll just stop. I'm again. All right. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Blanket Sound Show, episode number 335. I'm your host, Blake. Oh, not really. I'm actually playing the role of producer today. Let me reintroduce the host of today's show, Sal, the biggest deal podcast. How are you doing? Uh, this makes me feel like I'm in some sort of a club uh, in the <laughs> early 2000s, and I am just dancing like a fool. I'm... I'm I'm dancing wide, and I'm making space because you know social distancing, and <laughs> and, and yeah, this oh man, great. So we are playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and in the wonderful role of Regis is Sal today. That's well, right, bitches. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun. But Sal, so Sal, take over, and I will turn this off, and you continue on. Go ahead. Uh, so, uh, today, uh, in the hot seat, we have the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Mark. Yes. Dad, welcome to the show. Glad to be here. I wouldn't be any other place. And, uh, hey, am I getting paid for this? Do we ever get paid for this? I mean, if you win, right? I mean, this oh. is for money. This is, okay. he wants to be a millionaire. Okay. And I get to keep for- the money? May, 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 may I make a, a point that this is not for real American money? This is for Bitcoin. Oh, <laughs> wants God. to be a Bitcoin millionaire. Okay. All right. Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Oh, man. I love it. All right. So, continue to watch out. <laughs> okay, you can so, spend it Thunderdome. So, this is... <laughs> So this is how it's going to work. Uh, first, uh, for the first 10 questions, Jesus, 10 questions, uh, you will have the help of the smartest person that you know, the person that you helped create, Mandy. Hello. We are using um, Celebrity Millionaire rules here. So on the Celebrity Millionaire version, this is what they do. They bring in the smartest person you know to help them with the game. And I figured that needs all the help you can get sometimes. Uh, there you go. <laughs> Diabetes. Well, the funny part is that Dad was complaining for weeks that we didn't have a game with multiple choice. And we have one now. <laughs> so we have one now. There you, so go. There you go. So there you go. Well, before we get into this, I do have the um, I have our game board over here. And I'm going. And I'm going to get us to our next slide. Hey, you sound better that way. Uh. I was like, it's not joining to the next slide. There we go. And there we go. I did a little no, it, 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 it's better if you don't use the microphone. There you go. Uh, you know, this is working in pre I, I had to this whole thing to do a redistribute to start the show. I'll have to put that in post. Okay. He okay. reads Stop. the end. Next. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> so, um, as you can see on the left, uh, you have three lifelines to use. You have your 50-50, your phone a friend, and you have in the most evil picture of me known to man, which I absolutely love, <laughs> ask the host, but you shouldn't trust me because I might give you the wrong answer on purpose. <laughs> well, thank you, Jimmy Kimmel. Oh, oh my God. Okay. Okay. All, All right. right. So, so let's do it. Let's get right into things. Okay. Okay. Well, I have so many screens here, and I'm trying to be a producer and do, do things at once here. So here we go. You know, that sounds like a first girl problem. <laughs> wow. Okay. So, Mr. Mark. <laughs> For 100 Bitcoin dollars, 
What is the nickname of WWE Hall of Famer Eddie Guerrero? Is it Latino Heat, <laughs> Le Guerrero, Dominic's Poppy, or Living Legend? Okay, uh, Evil Sal. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to go with Latino Heat, my final answer. Uh, let's say, yes, there you go. Yeah, you just won a hundred Bitcoin dollars. All right, moving on up. Next question is for the $200 Bitcoin dollar. Which Green Bay Packers quarterback did not win a Super Bowl? Oh, my God. Is it Bart Starr, Don Hudson, Brett Favre, or Aaron Rodgers? Oh. Uh. You do have your lifelines available if you need them. Oh, well, my lifeline would be she's asleep. Daughter, are you? You can help. You can help, buddy, anytime you want. Uh, well, we know it's not Brett, and that's spelled wrong. His last name. Oh, sorry. For me. <laughs> And you spelled Dominic wrong in the last slide. <laughs> and, and, uh, and we know it's not Hottie because he, he won a Super Bowl. That, are we talking about Aaron Rodgers? Yeah, no, I'm talking about Don Hudson. What the <laughs> <laughs> Don Hudson was kind of hot. <laughs> so obviously that leaves the two old dudes and that's, that's your Packer territory. I think well, I, really I, I, I would have to basically go with... You can use one of your lifelines if hey, you choose. Hey, Doofenshmirtz, you can go for 50-50 and hope that they knock out one of the others. Okay, I'll go for my 50-50. Okay, which 50-50 do you like to choose? That's on me. Hang on, that's on the producer. Uh, between Bart Starr and Don Hudson. Well, you don't get to you don't get to but choose your fifty fifty. This works. You don't get to choose your fifty fifty, sir. You, you, you would you like to use your fifty fifty? Yes. Okay, so fifty fifty is now out of play, producer Blake. Oh, you just gave away the answer. Sweet. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, Don Hudson. I'm gonna go with Don Hudson. Final Oy answer. Vey. Oy vey. <laughs> wow, this is why we are not on a nationally syndicated channel. Awesome. Next question, please. Go ahead. Okay. For 300 Bitcoin dollars, <laughs> what is considered the first movie of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Is it Iron Man, Captain America, the first Avenger, the Hulk, or the Avengers? The first movie of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> Thank you there, Sal. I appreciate that. Uh, well, there were movies before the Cinematic Universe was created, so you have correct. to think about that. No, and correct. <laughs> and, 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 and I know it's not the Hulk. Okay. And I know, and I know that it's not the Avengers. Okay. So I'm going to go with uh, Iron Man, my final answer. Now, are, are, are you sure? I mean, Captain America has the first Avenger in its title. Are you sure you don't want to pick that? <laughs> I see what you're doing. First. Okay, okay. I will go with Captain America. The no, you idiot! Again. No, Iron Man. Iron Man, final, final answer. answer. All right, there you go. I tried a little, a little trickery there. Mandy yelling, "You idiot!" The th th thank you, Jimmy Kimmel. All right, moving on up the board for five hundred Bitcoin Head dollars. Out. I'll be right back. <laughs> what? Okay, okay, for five hundred Bitcoin dollars, what is the official title of the first? Star Wars movie that was released in theaters in 1977. Is it The Phantom Menace, A New Hope, Revenge of the Jedi, or Luke's Journey? Uh, New Hope, final answer. This one he knew better than the other one. 
<laughs> and that is correct. By the way, Revenge of the Jedi was the original title of Return of the Jedi. So there you go. That's right. <laughs> so there you go. Okay. Moving on. Mm-hmm. Okay. For 1000 Bitcoin dollars, and I do believe you can bank this if you if you win it, correct? You do, yep. This is it. Can yes. I bank okay. it? Okay. So if you if you lose, you have no dollars, which is pretty typical for the Bitcoin thing. Um, <laughs> what year was the first WrestleMania? Was it 1983, 84, 85, or 86? And you still have two lifelines available. <laughs> Would it be sad if he goes there already? <laughs> okay, uh, Mr. Sal, I'm going to pick 1984, my final answer. 1984, are you sure? You haven't really put a lot of thought into this. That's the sure theme next of the question. night. What was that, Mandy? Yes, he's sure. Next question. Yes, I'm sure. Okay, so you, final answer. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's find out. No, uh uh. No. Look it up. <laughs> No, Rest you are incorrect. 1985. You are incorrect. That means you lose the game. No, WrestleMania is not as old as me. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Let me double check right now. I double checked it when I did this. Weren't thing. we on WrestleMania 36 this year? Yeah. What do you think? I, I'm saying 84 because the reason I picked that is uh, double check. That was our, that was Mom and Maya's first WrestleMania together. WrestleMania one happened at Masquerade Garden, March thirty first, nineteen eighty five. Then how are we on WrestleMania thirty six? Because they don't do math well. <laughs> I feel like this was a shitty question. Okay, we can continue on anyway. Okay. If you want to? Let's see where this goes. Okay, so we're not going to bank the thousand, <laughs> and we're going to start over at two thousand. How about that? Okay. Inflation. Inflation. We start at two thousand dollars. New game. Yay. And because I'm a nice host, yeah. I'm giving you your fifty fifty back. Oh nice. Well, thank Wait. you very much, Mr. Seriously, nice though, how the hell are we on thirty six? I just have a doc this is all Wikipedia off WWE, so that's why I confirmed it. <laughs> yeah, we're all on, right. we're on WrestleMania thirty six. I'm only thirty five. Somebody can't math. <laughs> Moving right along. Moving right along. Two thousand dollars. We're starting over. You have all three lifelines available at your disposal. What soap real. opera did Joey Tribbiani play the character of Dr. Dre Ramore on the show Friends? Is it All My Children, Days of Our Lives, Passions? Holy fuck, I haven't heard that name in a while. And <laughs> General Hospital. Maybe you can still play, by the way, to help him. You all of, you all of music, my please? children? All of my children? What the all hell? <laughs> That's it's, not even a show. It's all my children. No of. Um. Okay, okay. So what's the Dad, the question? Dad, do you know the answer? I believe it's the answer. Okay, you're correct. Okay. Well, well, let's not jump the gun here. Let, let's, let's find out. I'm saying days because Friends wait, was wait. on NBC and wait, Days of Our Lives is on NBC. Wait, wait, so don't, do not interrupt the host. I'm sorry. This is not the Blake and Sal show. You can't talk over me. Thank you. Is that your final answer? Yes. There you go. You just won two thousand Bitcoin dollars. Yay! I can buy a Tesla for that. All right, moving right along. Uh, we, we need some dramatic music because usually the second part of the show, there's that dramatic music as the dollar amounts get higher. It's okay, that works. So for 4000 Bitcoin dollars, what Arrowverse show started on CBS before joining the rest of the shows on the CW? Was it Supergirl, Batwoman, Legends of Tomorrow, or The Flash? Ooh, thank you. Oh. Uh, Supergirl final answer. Okay, let's find out. Very good. Moving right along up the ladder. 8,000 Bitcoin dollars on the line. Who was the co-host with Ryan Seacrest of American Idol in season one? 
Was Here, it Randy dude, Jackson? Who the hell edited these questions or these <laughs> slides? <laughs> Randy Jackson, Simon Cowell, Paul Abdul, or Brian Duckelman? That's not Ooh. even it. It's Brian Dunkelman. Hence, I just oh. gave you the answer, Dad. Uh, oh, I, I'm oh, going with Brian Dunkel Duckman as my final answer. Are you well, sure? If you go okay, with Brian, well, I guess you are because the yeah. answer just came up. If you go with Brian Duckelman, you're wrong because that's not even a fucking person. How do you know? You can blame the producer, folks. <laughs> Moving right along. Okay. Next With question. 16,000 Bitcoin dollars. Which Milwaukee based sports franchise has won the most championships? Is huh. it the Milwaukee Brewers, the Milwaukee Bucks, the Milwaukee Admirals, or the Milwaukee Wave? Which is not uh, a real sport. Oh, you said that. <laughs> I, I, I know this answer, Dad. I'm guessing, you know... Would you like to use your Infinity Lifeline? (laughs) I'm thinking Admirals. You're wrong. Your Infinity Lifeline says that you're a doofus and you're wrong. Okay. Wave? Would you like to hear what your Infinity Lifeline has to say? The Infinity Lifeline, would it be the Wave? Correct. Thank you. Uh, Mr... Sal, Mr. Nuz- wonderful, nice host. I'm sorry if I disrespect you. I'm going to go with Milwaukee Wave as my final answer. Okay, let's find out. Very good. And considering it's not a real sport, that's kind of sad. Moving right along. Oh! For 32000 oh Bitcoin dollars. For 32000 Bitcoin dollars, what is the longest running Disney show on Broadway? Is it Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King, Newsies, or my favorite, Frozen? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Infinity Lifeline, I'm thinking between Lion King and Newsies. Definitely not that shitty show. Oh, jeez. Ah! He's definitely not referring to Beauty and the Beast. Sega Peaches, Mama. Okay, Mr. Sal, I'm going to go with The Lion King as my final answer. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, let's find out. Uh, Topanga and Corey have a series. That's a different show. Moving right along. (laughs) (laughs) There you go. All right. And we're going to move on. You have passed level two of Jumanji. Now, hey. we're getting into the hard stuff. <laughs> okay. As you can see, the dollar amounts are very high. Okay. You still have your three lifelines. You have your infinity lifeline to help you out. Okay. Yes, we're going to keep that going. because It's more fun that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had to mute the other computer, but we're good now. So, so now, for 64,000 Bitcoin dollars... That is correct. Okay. And there we go. All right. All right. For 64,000 Bitcoin dollars, what WWE Hall of Famer has held the WWE Championship for the longest amount of days? Is it Bruno San Martino, Bob Backlund, Hulk Hogan, or Pedro Morales? Oh. You have lifelines lifeline. at your disposal. Infinity Lifeline. I am thinking I'm between Bruno and Bob. Dude, you're the old one here. Well, WWE well, thank you for that. Championship. Ah, I see. WWE. WWE. Hall of Famer. Uh, okay. Bob Backlund's a Hall of Famer. Bruno's a Hall of Famer. Hulk's a Hall of Famer. They're all Hall of Famers. They're all Hall of Famers. There you go. Uh, You have a lifeline that you can use? I'm going to use my 50-50 lifeline. Okay. There are your choices. 
Well, there he you go. knocked out the two on the right. So now you are down to Bruno San Martino and Hulk Hogan. I'm going to have Bruno, to go with... Bruno, who has held the title for more than 4,000 days, by the way. Yes. Hint. Answer different. I, I, I am going with Bruno my final answer. Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay, let's find out. Ding, ding. And Sal had it correct. 4,040 days combined as the WWF champion back in the day. So there you go. For life. <laughs> All right, so moving right up the ladder. What happened there? That's weird. For 125 oh. California! California! Guys, you're showing all the answers now. What are you doing? I said stop. (laughs) There you go. That's what I was (laughs) Wise ass is over here. I was trying to fix it, and everyone jumped on it before I could fix it. Okay. Technical problem on my end. (laughs) There you go. Boy, Vey. Okay. Let's start over. So you have used your 50-50 lifeline again that I graciously gave back to you. Well, thank you. For 125,000 Bitcoin dollars, that's, that's, six, that's six digits. That's a lot of money. It is. No pressure. Infinity lifeline. I think I'm going to go to California. I didn't yeah. even read the question yet. <laughs> we just, we just know the answer. That's all. I have to read the question. question. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Harris, read the question, please. What state has held the most WrestleManias? Is it Dirty Jersey, California that's always on fire, Florida that's icky and, and full of disease, or New York that's smelly and full of rats that like to eat pizza off the street. <laughs> well, I noticed there was not a fifth after answer that's called the state of confusion. So I'm going to go with California as my final answer. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. You have lifelines available to you. I will go with California as my final answer. Okay. I'm, I'm a psychic. All right, you ready? You wow. Go. I don't I wonder believe how you it. figured that out. I don't know why at all. I don't know how that happened at all. It, it's, it was my psychic ability. All right, all right. Uh, go ahead. For 200, for a quarter of a million Bitcoin dollars. Wow. Wow. Imagine what you can do with all that money. You could probably buy yourself a nice shiny piece of jewelry. Or, or maybe just uh, uh, movie tickets for a family of four at the movie theater. <laughs> Which Forrest legendary Stockton. sports franchise has the most championships of all time? Is it the Montreal Canadiens, the Boston Celtics, the New York Yankees, or the cheating New England Patriots? Is Canadian spelled right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's about right. That one right. he actually did correctly. Okay. <sighs> you have lifelines available at your disposal. And Mandy there all the time. Okay. And, oh, and your infinity okay, lifeline. My infinity lifeline. Do you have any guesses? Go yes. ahead. I'm listening. Um, I don't think it's the Canadians. Okay. And I'm pretty sure it's not the Patriots because okay. there would have been a large asterisk. And Only a quarter of their championships count. <laughs> um, and I think Sal would have had something snarky if it would have been the Yankees. So, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with, I would say the Celtics. We're going to go with Boston Celtics? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mr. Uh, host there, Sal, uh, I'm going to go Boston Celtics for my Boston final Celtic. answer. Final answer? All right, let's find out. No, I am sorry. Oh! The answer was the New York Yankees at uh, 27. Oh. Hey, they, oh. they, have, they actually have 24 compared to 24. The Montreal Canadiens at 23. I had to do the numbers. I'm like, wow. Wow. The Canadians actually tell you the research. New York, All right. New York, so nice. He named it twice. Sorry. Well, you, you, you lost. lost. 
but All just right. for fun, let's just finish out the game and see how well you would have done if you got this answer correctly. Fair enough. Okay, go ahead. For um, Sal, you're wow. muted. Sal, you're muted. Sal, you muted yourself. Hang on. The host muted himself. Can you write on the board? There we go. I didn't even touch it. It said muted yourself. So, yeah. I, I'm not touching the screen. Okay. Okay. So, what would have been for a half a million Bitcoin dollars, which could have bought you a nice big screen TV? <laughs> which, of, which of these people have not won a competitive EGOT? Is it Andrew Lloyd Webber, John Legend, Tim Rice, or Lin, Mal Lin Manuel Miranda? This one this I actually do know. This is just for fun, no pressure. Uh, I'm taking away your lifelines except for your infinity lifeline. Um, I'm going to say, what do you think, John? No, I think it's Lynn. Lynn hasn't won one because he hasn't won um, an Oscar. Have not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has not won an Oscar. <sighs> he was going, he almost won one with Mo Moana, but he did not. Okay. And John is one one a Tony? Yes. Huh. Yeah, didn't he write the music for uh or wrote a song for something? I don't remember. I would have been very yeah, happy if I was I your think, life. I think he wrote one for um <laughs> Harriet. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh Lynn. Lynn, uh, Miranda, uh, Lynn, Miranda, yeah. Lynn Manuel Miranda Lambert, is that yes. the answer? It is. Well, there you go. And Mandy is absolutely right. He has not won an Oscar. Absolutely right. So, <laughs> so there you go. All right, moving on. Last question. All right. So, what would have been? Oh, it's on my screen here. It's not moving over yet. Hang on. It's on my screen. It's just not moving yet. Okay. Moving right along. It's, okay. What am I holding in my Bitmoji picture? Um, I'm not even sure. A hot dog. There Your you hands. Should be coming up now. I don't know why it's not coming up now. I'll just read the last question, Sal, because it's not coming up on the screen. Oh, you know what it is? It dropped out on Zoom on this end. Boy, they. The Zoom line on the other screen zaps off. So I'll read out the last question. Which, what, pick, what, what was the first Pixar movie to be released under the Disney banner after they purchased the company? Cars, Ratatouille, Toy Story 2, Finding Nemo. I don't know. After the purchase, I, I'm gonna guess uh, Toy Story 2. That would have been incorrect. The answer with Cars was the first movie made under the Pixar banner after Disney purchased Pixar. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that is that is it. There you go. That is the uh, game. Okay, that's the game. That is the game. By the way, oh. Sal, the lifeline would have been Olga if she he did the phone <laughs> By the way. <laughs> God damn it. That was the other part of the game. So if you if I would have known, I would have really pushed for him to use it. <laughs> so all right. I guess we should get out of here then. Because